What's up you guys? Uh, I tried and failed today at resetting my internal timer. It's about 1 in the morning right now and it feels like literally like, I don't know, 10 in the morning. But uh, I've been, uh, these past two weeks I've been sleeping later and later every day. And like I started going to bed at 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, and then waking up at 10, 11, 12. And I ended up uh, waking up consistently at like 12 or 1 so tried to reset it today and didn't do so well so one in the morning just gonna upload this footage or like just edit this footage on my computer but yeah my camera was in my car that's why I went out there but yeah I'll check in with you guys tomorrow hey it's September 19th and I haven't had a blink of sleep since that last clip so that last clip was at 1 in the morning and it's 7.24 right now. We're going to Verizon at 7.30 and then they open at 8. So I'm pretty much, I hope I'm guaranteed a phone if I show up early. That's what the guy said yesterday when I go, went and talked to him, but yeah. So last night, right, I went to, I think I fell asleep at 10 and then woke up at 12.30. And then that clip you saw was at 1 o'clock in the morning and then I just couldn't fall back asleep after that, so my internal timer is just <clears throat> messed up right now. But I think if I if I stay awake today, the whole day, and then just go to bed at like like 11 or midnight, and then wake up at a normal time, like nine o'clock, I should be fine. So I'm gonna do that tonight because I have to reset because I have I actually have to go to college now. So life begins next week, finally. It feels like so long, like it's been, uh, I've been a month in limbo, you guys, like that's why I could afford to sleep in that much or sleep that late, but now I have to refocus and get ready for school, college, all that stuff, all that great stuff. And of course, I'll share all of that with you guys, but um, yeah, going to get the phone right now and hopefully I do get it. So I'll show you guys if I do or if I don't, so. Checking with you guys in a little bit. By the way, a reason I might not get the phone is because Apple's servers crashed and they couldn't get all the pre-orders in and they didn't get me in because the servers crashed, like the billing crashed, everything crashed, they said, but uh, so now I'm just gonna go in and try to get a phone if they have one in stock. So that's my plan right now. Wish me luck. Hey guys, just got home from uh, Verizon and I didn't get my phone, you know why? Cause they're, Delayed until November, so I won't be getting it until I get out to Los Angeles So that'll be kind of cool just to wait for a month, but <laughs> No, uh, it'll be fine. And then uh, after that I went to the hospital for some insurance stuff Got to waive the University of California Insurance because we don't need it and I'm on my parents plan. We're on like a family plan So we don't need like the University of California insurance plan. So I'm actually getting kind of tired So I think I'm gonna take a nap hit dead and then tonight I think I'm gonna be training that girl I was talking about uh, in the last video Girl I went to high school with we're gonna hit like legs or maybe back. I don't know. We'll probably just do back because back's fun uh yeah, uh, really tired. Then <laughs> gonna go to bed and check in with you guys at the gym. What's up, you guys? Back in the gym with another session, and we're doing my specialty today. We got deadlifts, and we worked with 360. Well, we ended up working with 364, four sets of four. Uh, the first two sets were 270 for six, and then 325 for five. So. Again, very easy, and then I remember last time I ran this program, I was complaining to Sean that this was too easy, and then by week seven, I was getting this, uh, just destroyed by the amount of weight that I was asked to lift. So just focusing on form and being powerful from the bottom and just uh, working on everything so I am strongest on the top weeks when I am pushed to my limits. I also want to start talking to you guys about uh, where power is generated for your compound movements and everything is generated from the floor. That's why I bought my wrestling shoes. Well, I bought my wrestling shoes because you can't uh, deadlift barefoot in a competition. But besides the point, 
uh, your feet are in contact with the ground, right? And you generate your power off the ground. So if for anything, you need the optimal uh, contact with the ground, you need a stable base. So for my deadlifts, I use my wrestling shoes. For my squats, I use my Olympic uh, squat shoes so those help me generate the most power off of the ground for those compound movements and I also use my wrestling shoes for my bench and when you bench you guys you don't want to like wiggle your feet when you're uh, struggling with the weight because you want to keep a solid base and push against the floor basically to generate the most power and if you start like wiggling your feet or something uh, your base is compromised and you will bleed power so just a little just a little tip for you guys uh, you can I would recommend you deadlift barefoot if you don't have flat-footed shoes such as Chuck Taylor's or wrestling shoes and check out the new tights you guys uh, you can only see the calves right now but they actually like they're 3m and they kind of glimmer in the right light. I don't know if the camera can pick up on that, but look at my calves. They might be shining if the camera picked it up or not. And depending on the light you look at it and how the light hits the 3M, you can see like it like shines or like winks at you a little bit, which is pretty cool. I was thinking about just returning them because I couldn't get my knee sleeves over my knees because uh, they're not compression. I thought I thought they were compression, so. I was thinking about returning them, but they look really sweet with uh, shorts on, so I'm just going to keep them and enjoy them uh, and not have to hassle with uh, the return policy, like the returning and all the shipping and all that stuff. So What you're seeing right now is just me being a little baby. Um, I, ha I got two reps. This was my second set and I got two reps, and my hands were just hurting my calluses. This was the knurling on this bar is just ridiculous, and uh, my he was almost about to give and rip so I decided to put the burst grips on um, I don't like using straps for any like deadlift motion any rack pulls uh, just conventional deadlifts I don't like doing that just because I want to work on grip strength and get stronger and not have my grip become a weakness if that makes sense so this is my third set and I got quality reps because without the burst grips my first set, I was doing them really fast because it literally felt like my hands were tearing at the top. So the reps were very fast for my first set and the first two reps of the second set. And then right here in my third set, I had five reps and I made it a point to get quality reps because I wasn't happy with the way I was pulling in the first and the beginning of the second sets. So... Yep, just holding it right there, just a little bit, just to put the pressure on my traps and my upper back because my grip wasn't affected because I had the virtue grips on. And then um, the next exercise was supposed to be good mornings, but I always sub it for this back extension machine because good mornings, I feel like they're one of the most dangerous exercises you can actually do because if you've ever seen a good morning, uh, here, I'll just put a video on the side for you it looks like something could go wrong really really quick so I had all the weights on this machine stacked up so I had the whole stack and I to make it harder for myself I just control the weight down and explode up because I could rep this out very fast or like very easily if I just if I didn't control the negative and by the third and fourth set they they really burned so it worked for me and I'll continue to do that just to hammer out my lower back a little more and strengthen it so it's ready for my heavy deadlifts and heavy squats. And the second to last movement for today were these lat pullovers with the cable and the rope. And this is great to get a good stretch in the lat and track it all the way down. I love this movement as a finisher for all my back workouts just to hammer out the lats that much more. And for this shot right here, you guys, I challenge you guys to try to find the camera for the dumbbell curls. There were three sets of eight for the dumbbell curls, and really, really glad with my quote-unquote progress with this movement. I thought I could do 40 pounds like a year ago, and I, really I was just like swaying ridiculously and not working on form. But I'm glad I got the 40 pounders down. And I think I'll just stick with this weight for a while until I'm comfortable with it, then go up as uh, my biceps get stronger and stronger. So 
But yeah guys, curls for the girls to finish off this workout. And that's really all I got for, as far as footage today. So I hope you enjoyed me talking over the footage. I don't know if you guys like enjoy me talking over the footage or just me putting music over it. But either way, uh, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.